There are two different kinds of gymnastics, one which is popular in the United States, and as our Brian Goldman tells us, the other one that's popular everywhere else. Here's tonight's Sporting Youth. A few months ago, we introduced you to the sport of rhythmic gymnastics. College of the Redwoods held one of the largest competitions in the region. Now, the sport is back. They've been doing really, really good, uh, considering that I do make up hard stuff. CR held a week-long camp for rhythmic gymnasts. They brought in a master of sports, Maria Ivanova, as an instructor. First, when I walked in to the gym, they looked scared. They weren't sure what I'm going to do with them because I, I'm known for the toughness, I guess. But now they are enjoying my teaching, and I think I've been a lot of fun to them. I've done a lot better um, working with her. It's the reason why you know I came as close to making nationals this year as I did. Gymnasts are rated up to 10, 10 being one of the top 20 in the country. I'm 26th right now, so I'm hoping to be next year to make top 20. Rhythmic gymnastics seems like a newer sport. Not really new, maybe newer to America, but uh, in Europe, rhythmic gymnastics is a sport that everybody knows, not artistic gymnastics. Rhythmic gymnastics differs from artistic gymnastics in many ways. We don't use vault or bars or anything. We have clubs, ribbon, hoop, ball, rope, and then we do a floor routine. Basically, the whole structure of the gymnast's body is different. We are looking for a slim, tall. They are looking for shorter and muscular. Next week, Ivanova will be coaching in the Nationals, while these campers will be practicing, hoping to make it there next year. For News Channel 3 Sports, I'm Brian Goldman. All right, thanks, Brian, and there you go. Thanks a lot, Manny. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back.